Hey, all my lovelies, how is everybody doing today? Today is week seven for weight loss surgery. On July 2nd, I had weight loss surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Ortiz. I want to tell you that I do not regret my decision. It was an amazing experience. Um, I had a great time in Mexico and it was just so lovely. My highest weight when I was pregnant with my boys was 245. Um, I dropped a good 25 pounds and between, for 10 years, I've been between 218 to 220. I've had nutritionists and diets and um, personal trainers and the most I lost was 10 pounds and gained it right back. I live a highly stressful life uh, with my son fighting stage four neuroblastoma cancer so I found ways in comfort in food. So it was very hard for me to get up and exercise because I was in the hospital all the time and I'm in the hospital now and um, you know and comfort food it was great to make me feel better. So. Um, I decided to go for weight loss surgery. I had a two-week pre-op diet, which I do not recommend Recommend for any just regular diet. A two-week pre-op diet is to shrink the liver and uh, so they can do the surgery well. So that's the whole reason why they do pre-op diets um, for most people. I went down to 208 on the pre-op diet. I was starving at, the, at that point. My surgery day, um, July 2nd, I was 208. Uh, after surgery, one week after surgery, I was down to um, 200. Two weeks, I was to 199, 198, and seven, week seven, all the way in um, to week seven, I'm at 187. So I've lost one pound in a week. Uh, I've been fluctuating between 187 and 188. I have not weighed myself this morning because it's hard to get to a scale while I'm at a hospital. I don't know why it's so hard. They have scales here. Well, I just haven't checked. I am still continuing weighing myself um, as much as I can almost every day. I don't go crazy over it. Um, it doesn't hurt me. doesn't hurt my emotions. I'm fine with weighing every day. Some people can't handle it, which is fine. Um, I can handle it. And I love seeing um, my accountability every day on, okay, why am I not losing weight? Okay, this is what I need to do to change it. Okay, so that's fine. Let's talk about head hunger today, guys. Um, head hunger, I have been really, really struggling with. And when you have the surgery, they take out this thing called the hunger switch, and it's supposed to make you not feel hungry. So sometimes people have to remind themselves to eat um, because sometimes they just don't feel hungry. But you still have head hunger, so I'm always constantly thinking, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And because I live in a high stressful atmosphere, um, in the hospital with my son, I feel like I need to eat all the time and that's where my head hunger comes in is because I feel like I need that comfort food. I need to eat something to make me feel better, to make me feel more comfortable. And um, it, I've been really, really, really struggling with it this week. It's been really rough. Um, I've been eating things and then I regret it because I get the stuck feeling. I'm shoving it down my mouth. Um, without chewing it all the way or I ate like a couple bites of cookie because I felt like I needed some sweets and it's all up here because I know my stomach doesn't need it and I know I'm not addicted to those kinds of foods anymore because I haven't had it in so long so it's all in the head and I'm really 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 struggling with the head hunger this week um, it's been really rough so I've been um, putting a lot of time and effort into YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and keeping myself distracted with social media. I think I need to come up with a new hobby if I ever, you know, maybe I need to get back to uh, photoshopping things, taking pictures and photoshopping because I'm a pro professional photographer. Anyway, um, I am craving water like I am dehydrated. I, before before um, surgery, I couldn't even stand the taste of water. Now I'm drinking three jugs of these almost a day. I'm sipping all the time and I feel thirsty all the time. And I don't know if that's replacing my food comfort. Um, I mean, that does make sense if I were. I love water, <clears throat> I love carbs. And I noticed that, I think that's the reason why I'm still at kind of a stall is because carbs. Because I think everything I'm getting are high in carbs and I'm going, well, what do I eat? Because almost everything I get that I 
my mouth enjoys is high in carbs. Um, however, I got this for lunch today, tur turkey avocado ranch, 290 calories, two grams of sugar. Um, let me go to the back here and listen to this. Uh, 26 grams of carbs and I think that's part of the tortillas I will not eat the tortilla part because I don't need the tortilla part but there's chicken and cheese and olives and carrots and lettuce so it's it's like a, a wrap that you can make and I won't eat the tortilla but this this is so good this is one of my favorites they're um, bonitos Original black bean with sea salt chips. Oh my gosh, I love these. They're light, lightly salted. Um, five grams of fiber. It's got four grams of protein per serving, which is about, I'd say one ounce. That's about 12 chips. Uh, serving size per container is six. So there's six servings in here. So it's not too much protein, but it's a little, and I can only eat like four chips, and I'm like, oh God, I'm full. <laughs> So it's corn free, all natural, no trans fat, no preservatives, gluten free, no MSG, certified kosher, vegan, uh, certified low glycemic, high fiber, um, lightly salted and cholesterol free. You guys, these chips are great. And um, carbs, 15 grams, so it's not so bad. But you know, if I eat four chips and then some of the salad and then just adding up you know things that I've been eating throughout the day just adding it all up I'm eating high amounts of carbohydrates and I really believe the carbohydrates are what's making me stall and I'm really uh, struggling to find stuff that are low in carbohydrates at the hospital um, I get free meals and I go down to the cafeteria and I can eat a salad I just don't want to eat just spinach you know what I'm saying um, so I add light ranch to it I, I mean how I'm gonna have to like Pinterest low carb meals, but I can't cook anything. Maybe something um, to eat out and about because you know, you can't cook here. There's no stove for me to cook here. There's microwaves, but microwaves are always the best in cooking meals anyway. So once again, my head hunger is just really killing me this week. I, I don't know how to get past it. I really feel hungry all the time. I wake up thinking about food and I think this was, this is part of my addiction. I think I'm really having withdrawals now. I, even though it's seven weeks out, I feel like because I'm in a high stressful atmosphere, I feel like, you know, I need to eat, I need to eat. And that's what was always making me gain weight in the first place. And I'm, when you come to that realization, oh my gosh, you don't really need to eat. You need to take up a hobby, draw. So beating or you know art or something you need to take up something to replace that feeling in your head that oh my gosh you need to eat I went from uh, two weeks ago I bought a pair of pants I went from 16 to size 14 these are jeggings that I'm wearing right now okay and size 14 jeggings are fitting loose so I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can see so these are size 14. See how they're kind of falling? I'm always having to tug them up. But these are size 14s and I'm losing weight. My stomach's, my stomach right here, I still have a pooch, but I, I expect that to go down further. But I still have a pooch here too, but um, all this is probably gonna end up being skin. So excuse the funny bumps. But what I'm saying is my jeggings size 14s are loose. And when I walk, they kind of tend to slip down. I'm always tugging and pulling at them. And I like these because they have these little patches. Those are my style pants. So um, I'm feeling good other than the head hunger. I have energy. I know that I don't have sleep apnea anymore because I feel like I am getting a full night's rest when I do go to sleep. Um, sometimes I stay up really late. Insomnia is different than obstructive sleep apnea. So. Insomnia likes to kick in sometimes, but you know, when you live in this kind of atmosphere, it just kind of, that comes with the territory. But otherwise, when I do sleep, I feel like I got a full night's rest of sleep. And um, I don't feel like I wake up sleepy and groggy. And I, I woke up this morning going, I feel pretty good. So I'm really happy about that, that my sleep apnea had gone away as far as I know. I mean, I could totally tell a complete difference. Um, I haven't gone to a doctor. I don't have time to go back to a sleep specialist to do it right now to go check again. But other than that, 
I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I also have a second channel if you guys are um, wanting to come watch my daily life. I daily vlog every day on YouTube at Mom's Vlog 80. The link is down in the description box down below. Shout out to all those who just had surgery or is going to have surgery and just started their pre-op diets. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Amaretta, Amaretto Mama One. Um, she's a beautiful person. Um, her surgery date is September 8th. Um, Marika, she just had her surgery um, a couple weeks ago, so congratulations, Marika. Mom and me, VSG, I am so glad to see Cassie back up on video and watching her videos. Um, so good for you, girl. I am so glad that you are back with us and I want to see more of your face. Um, um, Magnolia.226, she is on her way successfully and Congratulations, Magnolia. You're doing wonderful. You're an inspiration, and I really appreciate you commenting on all my videos. And um, there is Sleeve for Tink. She is working really, really hard on herself. She's uh, going through stuff like I am, and we had our surgeries a day after she had hers, July 1st. I had mine July 2nd, and so we're just a day apart, so we're kind of like sleeve sisters. So it's good to see her journey and my journey and kind of be able to compare even though everybody's journey is different, but it's really fun to compare. Like, oh yeah, I'm doing that too. Oh my god, me too, you know, kind of thing. Sleevey Nix, congratulations on your new sleeve. You just recently got your sleeve on Tuesday. I can't wait to hear about your update. Kara, I am so happy you got past your stall. Um, yay, congratulations. Now just remember there could be more stalls in the future, but hopefully not for you. You're doing a wonderful job and shout out to you, Alan VSG. OMG, what the heck, Alan VSG? This is, no, it's not OMG, it's V. S G. I'm such a dork. Um, I Alan is just dropping the weight right and left. That guy is um, um, doing so well. Go over to his channel and subscribe to Alan BSG. Anyway, this video is getting long. Shout out to everybody else. I'm sorry I didn't uh, call you guys out. If you're new and you're starting a channel with your journey, let me know because I will jump on over to your channel and I will watch your channel because I like to watch um, everybody else's uh, journeys as well, especially when you're starting anew and you're just behind me. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, like I said, put them down in the um, comment section below and I love you guys and we'll see you guys all for week eight next week. Yeah. Okay. Hope. Pray for my head hunger. Okay. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Ciao. Bye. And, um, um, Sleevey Nix, uh, mm. I want to see you quit isolating yourself. Get that out in the open. Get yourself out in the open. I don't know. I hope that didn't embarrass you. Um, okay. Okay. So, um, um, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> so, Elijah, is my battery blinking by any chance? Elijah, is my battery blinking? No. Okay, thank you. Is it recording? Better not have gone through that for no reason. Uh, and, uh, um, 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 Okay, so my starting weight, okay, let's go back. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and, hold on, this is distracting me. Okay, I just had to see what the buzz was. And I, I don't know how my hair looks. I really don't know how my hair looks. Probably looks terrible, I need to wash it. Hopefully this helps cover it. My, Messy hair. Anyway.